quick. The knowledge is the identity of blacks. Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever really like sat down and just real or thought about who are the black people? Where do they come from? I know Africa, but we're at in Africa. You know, because there's like over 50 different dialects. There's a lot of different type of Africans out there. But we just been, I know I've been taught that I'm just an African. And I'm doing some research now. Come to find out what y'all going to be blown away with. Do y'all believe in the Bible? You do not? Do not. Okay. So, well, this would be quite interesting. Well, if I was to prove to you, well, regardless, I, I use the Bible. I believe in the Bible 100%. And what I would say now is that over 2,000 years ago, it was prophesied the greatest event that ever happened, the worst event, and the greatest event that ever happened in the earth was slavery. The greatest worst, do you think, 400, 500 years, what happened to the so called blacks? I mean, there's not been a time on history, even to this day, where a whole people loses their identity completely. We don't know who we are. We have your last names. Right? Speak your language, your last names and whatnot. Okay. So with that being said, let's see if that coming over here on slave ships is in the Bible. I know y'all say y'all don't believe, so this is going to be quite interesting, right? <laughs> You tell me what this means. Or, well, you can tell me your, your feelings. Look at him. Ah, ah, all crazy. So, are you familiar with the story of Moses? You know, when they was in Egypt, God said, let my people go. And he's smitten the Egyptians, right? Yeah. He gave them ten plagues. Split the river. He split the Red River, Red Sea. Red Sea, right? Yep. With Moses coming through there, right? With his people, right? Yep. The Israelites. We know the Bible. Right? Okay, so y'all do. Okay, good, 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 good. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. 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 So we're going. Peace, peace. So we're going over the. I mean, my bad, y'all. I'm just going to fill them in real quick. All right, stay cool. Yeah. So we'll they don't. They, okay. <laughs> so basically, they don't believe in the Bible. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. But I'm proving to them that the biggest kept secret in the world is uh, our identity. Mm -hmm. Fair to say. Okay. Sure. And that it was prophesied how it was going to come over here on slave ships over 2,000 some years ago. So that's where we stand right now. And this is where I'm about to prove to them now in the Bible where that's at. Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to go to chapter 68. And I'm going to stop this because I want you to get the, the, the definition of this word. So, come on, bring it out, bring it out. We're going to make it fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a blessing. Book so, of Deuteronomy. yeah, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Uh huh. And it reads, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Oh, so God said He was going to bring a certain people, the same people they led through the Red Sea, let my people go, them same people. He said, You was going to go into Egypt again with ships. So we know for a fact that, well, I don't know, y'all probably do know, when they opened up the Red Sea with Moses, they never turned back around and went into Egypt. So of course, Egypt has to mean something else. It has to be synonymous with something. So let's see what the Bible actually says in Exodus 20 and 2. Because it explains what the word Egypt means, because it's actually Mizraim. But it's, here's, okay, go ahead. It's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Bondage is like captivity. Same thing like slavery. So God said, what? Now let's jump back to 28 and see what God said was going to happen. We're going to put in the word bondage or slavery. And it's, wow. It's very amazing that this is something that has not been told to us for over 400, 500 years. Is our identity because this happened to only one people and you can't get around it you cannot get around it go ahead read it out it's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 mm -hmm. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships slavery a bondage again with ships keep reading by the way whereof I spake unto thee Moses said just like I'm telling these Israelites over 2,000 years ago Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland again. When you get on them ships on this side of the world, you're not, as a nation of people, going back to 
the same area you, you was there. You're not going back to that same spot. There you shall not see it no more again. Somebody is still in a place that's not their own. They have been taken from one side of the earth to the other side and they're still here today. But keep reading. Therefore thou shalt see it no more again. Uh-huh. And there And there, when you get off them ships, what happened? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Slave man and slave woman. And no man shall buy you. Nobody's gonna redeem you out this captivity that you in. Hmm. This is 400, 500 years later. There's a people that has been transported from one side of the earth to the other side of the earth by way of ships. And they still here to this day. So, of course, so we're back in Egypt now? Egypt? We? Yeah. We? This, um, I wouldn't say we. Egypt is synonymous with bondage or slavery. So that's right. a specific people that went back into Egypt, meaning bondage and slavery, still to this day. Mm -hmm. And they're still here in a place that they was brought on ships hmm. in the same spot to this day, like Deontay Wilder say, all right? So who are these people? I wonder who these people are. Now, these are God's chosen people, the same people that he destroyed the Egyptians for because they did the same exact thing. They had them in hardcore bondage and slavery. They would not let them go. But God did something. He hardened the Pharaoh's heart. They don't talk about that in, in church. The God, the, the, the love, 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 love God of all love, 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 love. It's just so much love. It's just none of the hearts. You know, he's a, he's a bit Cupid. For most people but according to the bible he hardened pharaoh's heart pharaoh was like let him go get him out of here well after them plagues but mm -mm. god was like no i'm gonna show my power to the earth and then he killed all the firstborn egyptians and the cattle too so the god of the bible is not the god that they talk about in the christian church there's two different gods and there's way more other gods so i guess the overall what i'm trying to get to let you know is unless you would like to know more. But according to the Bible, the so-called black people that you see here, they're vapor, they are, we are the Israelites, the same people that walk through the Red Sea, we descend from them people, the greatest people on the earth. And the judgment that's coming to the earth from what happened then, and even what happened now is coming. There's another judgment coming to the earth and it's coming faster than what you can see. Well, I'm pretty sure you can probably see signs and whatnot. That's the road up. You your back. That's a plague. That's part of a plague. But hey, with that no. being said, whether you believe it or not, uh, it, I mean, black people, the so-called blacks, because black is not even a nation of people. Black is a color. You know, like white is a color. You're not this color. You're more pink. Huh? Oh, yeah, Kamala Harrison. But yeah, black, white, uh, African-American, that's not a nation of people. What, what nationality is that? If I got on a plane and was like, hey, I want to get a plane ticket to Africa, America. They'll laugh at me. There's, yeah, there's no such thing. There's no such thing. So our identity, according to the Bible, is we biblical Israelites. And let me go ahead and up it on up a little bit more. We the real Jews. Because Jew is short for Judah. Christ was a Jew, right? You know what Christ looked like? pictures you see yeah exactly exactly even we all know that even it can be it can be um, scientifically proven that a Caucasian would be living over there in Africa yeah. so according to the Bible he had woolly textured hair bronze skin like he burned in the furnace he was a Jew he wasn't an African so that destroys the concept of oh well you got dark skin you're African we all Africans that's what they teach us no we're not Egyptians. Christ was, a Af um, Christ was an Israelite, a Jew, that looks like us. He is us. We descend from them same people, the greatest people. Well, you gotta be treated like this. Oh, it, well, y'all, well, I'm going to say y'all as in not nothing personally with you, but as in a nation, we've been treated very wrongly by all the nations of the earth. For 400 some years and that nobody tried to come save us from the hands of the Caucasian or the Edomites in the Bible. That's what race of people that you would descend from. You come from Esau. He was actually a twin brother to Jacob. But, uh, do y'all have any questions? I mean, I really don't have nothing. I would say that, I, I will go with this, that uh, if you, I know you don't believe in the Bible, 
but you're gonna hear this up, you're gonna hear this again. I would say judgment is coming, and I would I would say let so-called black people know who they are according to the Bible. What's up? I'm just laughing at the sun because he was looking at you and then we just can't oh, see you right now. Oh, it just was like, bam! Yeah, it's directly up behind right you. Okay, okay. Hey, y'all got anything? Huh? <laughs> y'all got anything? Um, Psalms 83, how everybody got with us? Uh, came against us? Uh, it's the book of Psalms chapter 83 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. Well, starting at verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So God had enemies. They made a tumult, or agreement. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Mm -hmm. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. There's a people that have taken crafty counsel against God's chosen people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. they, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So the, all these nations got together with one agreement and they said, we're gonna cut a certain people off from being a nation. God's chosen people from being a nation. This is written in Psalms over 2,000 some years ago. Go ahead. That the name of Israel uh -huh. may be no more in remembrance. That used to be a surname. That used to be our surname was Israel because of we descend from this guy. Go ahead. They have consulted together with one consent. So God's enemy have got together with one consent, one agreement. They are confederate against thee. Uh-huh. The tabernacles of Edom. He names off the people that has gotten together to be against God's chosen people. The first people he named was the tabernacles of Edom. That's the so-called Caucasian race. Go ahead. The Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are your Arabs today. They have gotten together to cut off God's chosen people from being their name. Keep going. Of Moab. Moab is your Chinese people today. They come from incest, if you know about the story of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. He told the wife not to look behind. Him and his two daughters went into the cave. In, there you go. Got, um, look at that, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> and the Hagarines. And the Hagarines is an African tribe. We have nothing to do with Africans. We're not the same people. We even look different. We move different. Africans right now, still to this day, are not getting shot down in the street. Them or not, we're not the same people. We're not the same people. We look different, we move different. Matter of fact, Africans don't even grow facial hair like us. They don't have, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're just two different people. Well, I, I appreciate the information. And, uh, thanks for sharing. Uh, All right. We're gonna keep moving. All right, y'all have a good day and enjoy it. Whenever I hear you teach on a certain subject, uh -huh. I always like try to tell the reader the scripture Go ahead. before you ask for it. Yeah, I, I, I pitch the, the scripture difference. to him. The yeah, difference. yeah, exactly. I know. I see what you're using it. I'll phrase it. That's good. Shalom, shalom, shalom. How about shalom, shalom, shalom? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, <laughs> uh, what's that man? What's up? Yeah, what's man doing this man? You know, all crazies. Where she at? She um gonna come with his wife when they um ready. Okay. All right. Come, on, come. On. Well, I keep teaching. Keep teaching to the end. You know what I mean? Cause the scripture tell you the word don't go out void. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse eleven. It's all praises to the Most High that we over here. You understand? And the, the deepness of um, 